Now, I've just been thinking um, that there is, I remember seeing in Misa about, yes, this libva to provide VA API support for some Gallium drivers, so I'm actually wondering if that's something else that needs to be installed initially and not LLVM. Um, because it does say LLVM is only required for because it says Gallium 3D. Um, so I might install this first, retry Misa if that doesn't work. Maybe this one, I'm not sure if this is required. Um, right, that's got quite a few dependencies as well. Um, Yeah, I might try. Well, I'll try this libva first of all. And it says, note there is a circular dependency. You must build libva Lib first without EGL and GLX support. Install this package and then rebuild libva. So let's see what's in there. Um, oh, I see it's not for some reason. I don't know if it's the browser or... Uh, I don't know what it is, it's not quite jumping to these pages where they've got like bookmarks in inside each one. Um, so this is just the XORG drivers page. Alright, oh, yes, this is um, something we'll be coming up to by the looks of it. Um, I think you, the idea is that you pick and choose what drivers you need here. Um, yes, there's various input drivers there, video drivers. Hardware video, yes, this is probably why we're ending up with this software, this SW REST implementation being built, but it can't be built because it hasn't got the right um, drivers, so uh, let's see what this one says here. Originally designed for NVIDIA for its GeForce 8 series and later GPU hardware targeted at the X Window system. The VD Power API allows video. Um, let's go back here, see what this said it was supported. That's VA API. And that has got support. Um, let's have a look up on Wiki VDPAU. It's the Beams product device driver, so Genforce G, NVIDIA GeForce driver, Nouveau AMD GPU. So, right, okay, so um, it looks like for Intel chips it's not a requirement, but if you have a GeForce, you're using the Nouveau driver or any AMD GPU, then that's something you'll want to install. Now, obviously, with an, just an Intel chip on this Mac, that isn't necessary so I'll be skipping that one but I will build libva so I should do that now um, oh yes here's the VA API driver so that's confirmed here with this wiki page here VA API um, it's a Haswell, so that is supported, so that kind of makes sense. Needs libdrm, I'm sure we installed that. Libdrm, I can't 
can't see it actually. I thought it was installed. Um, that might be one of the libraries that we installed. So let's have a look at that lib. No, it's not there. Yes, libdrm, there it is there, so just down here, so we have got that. Um, recommended Mesa. Okay, so this looks reasonably straightforward to install, so let's just push that out of the way and go back to the browser so this is CMake which we've done with let's look for the VA uh, no it's not going to be there so it'll have to be the um, XOR drivers XOR driver. it was there so go in there and in here we need to search for um, libva And there it is there, so let's press enter, that'll take us to it. There's the link with the source file. And an additional download for Intel. Save that as well. So I'll extract the libva to start with. So if you're reinstalling the package, you need to remove older versions. We're not doing that. Install libvi by running the following commands. Okay, so it looks like we build both packages here. So let's copy the first command. Pick a command and it's make. Okay. Now install package as the root so that's done and the Intel VA API driver it's designed specific video cards based on Intel GPU unpack the Intel VA API table and cd into it so you can see that we're not changing directory or anything not going back to the sources directory it's extracting it directly where we are here and then it's changing into that directory and we configure and build as before
Okay, so that's built. Now I'm going to install it. Um, as the root. And that's complete. So that looks like there's nothing more to be done on that page. So I'll go back to the top of that page and tidy this up. So let me go back to the graphical browser. So that's the libva installed. I'll just make a note of those two drivers. libva and libva api. Get rid of those. Uh, and back to Mesa. So I do have to rebuild the VA after Mesa has been built. So I'm going to try and rebuild Mesa now. So extract it. Uh, change into it. And I'll have to go back to find it here. Is so I've got the patch if you remember. So I'll, um, the patches for the demos. And change the setting here to use Python three. And then I've got to set these two environment variables. So the first one is to use Crocus. Oops. And the second one was to use I nine six five. And then I'll just run this meson command. Oh, I didn't make that. I'll do this separately actually. I uh, might recall it actually. So there it is there. So build test equals true is the last thing I've added there. Let's just check. So it looks like that's something I've added on. So I wouldn't have thought that would cause the failure of Mason. Okay, now it still needs more, so um, let's go back here. So the lid VD power won't make a difference. It does look like I need to install LLVM. Um, I would just say Gallium 3D, um, but I think yesterday when I was setting gallium gallium driver to empty it was not making any difference anyway and also if you remember if i set it to auto to build everything that didn't make any difference either in fact it failed later on Yeah, so I'm going to remove the contents of this build directory and I'll leave it here this time. So it's all set up, ready to 
um, configure again. So I'm going to unset these two variables again. Go back to the Mesa, uh, sorry, the sources directory.